So we're here with actor and director Eric Munn. Hello. His show at the New York uh, Theater Music Festival. Yep. Just finished. It was called Cloned. Why don't you talk a little bit about that experience? Absolutely. Um, so it's Cloned the Musical. It's actually just Cloned. I always say the musical, and they do too because they want to differentiate. Um, but yeah, it's, it's about a scientist who, well, his name's Wally Waterman, and he actually accidentally ends up cloning himself. Um, he's trying to invent teleportation, and he ends up accidentally cloning himself. He doesn't know that he does that, and I play the clone of the main guy. Well, we're both the main guys, but um, yes. Anyways, they both got, go out in the park, and he thinks he's, he's failed. The original Wally thinks he's failed, and then the clone Wally is like, I'm the best scientist ever. <laughs> and uh, they go out. They don't even know that either one exists, and one's really happy, one's really, really depressed, um, and then they end up meeting back in their apartment, and then all hilarity ensues. Door slamming, we have pigeons, we have mad evil scientists, um, a North Korean evil villain too, and a lovesick love interest, she, and uh, Sh Sharon Stone is uh -huh. in it. I know. How did you get her to do this? <laughs> <laughs> the actual Sharon Stone. The actual Sharon. Got him a few favors. <laughs> there you go. So it sounds like you had a lot of fun with the show. It's fantastic. I mean, the whole creative team is just unbelievable, and uh, there's so much heart in the show is why I really love the show, um, because, you know, so oftentimes theater now is geared toward getting people in the seats, and, you know, so having a big in a big house, having a big show that really sells and makes money, but this show is just, it's so much about the heart and so much about just storytelling mm -hmm. um, and doing it in a fun and crazy way. That's why, that's why I love it. Cool. Yeah. Now we went first to where you are. Let's take it back to when you first wanted to become an actor. Oh, wow. uh, yeah. When did you first realize that this was something you could do as a legitimate career? I started, my first production was Humpty Dumpty at the Arkansas Arts Center Children's Theater. It's a professional children's theater in Little Rock, Arkansas. I grew up in Little Rock, Arkansas. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I kind of just, I remember auditioning for my first thing ever. I did get it and I was really sad, but I kept trying and I played sports, but I was a little small, so I had to do, I was like, well, I'll try the arts route. And right. I ended up loving it and I finally got cast and I grew up doing theater in Little Rock. Um, at like Murray's Dinner Playhouse and Arkansas Rep, and I would get paid to do it, and I would get to miss school. So it was. I mean, how much more awesome does it get than that? That was like, this is the best thing ever. Yeah. It's awesome, and uh, I think yeah, it's it's so interesting. I I grew up doing straight plays for a long time, and I didn't really know about musicals, and I, I mean I always sang in choirs, but I never danced, mm -hmm. and then uh, later. In high school, I was like, well, I need, to, I need to start learning dance, I need to sing more, because more jobs, right? And, um, and then I just, it's taken off. Took off from there. Yeah. Uh, did you go to college and study I performing did. arts yes, as I well? Yes, I went to Elon University okay. um, in North Carolina. I graduated in 2010. And did you jump right here? I did. Well, actually, right after that, I um, did the national tour of Chorus Line. Okay. So, having no dance training to having being in a dance show it was crazy i mean it was just like oh this is awesome and i was like i have accomplished something <laughs> <laughs> but now i'm you know and i still dance but i still i just always it's to me creating a role and creating a character is so exciting for me and um you know really delving into what is this character who is this character like the essence of that character and that's what i love that's why I love acting so much, mm -hmm. is because you do get to delve into, and not that you don't do that with dance. Um, actually, I feel like my dance training has helped my acting training in some regards because I'm so in tune with everything that's moving sometimes. Right. So, um, which is a very Chekhov way of approaching things about dealing with energies, mm -hmm. and, and that's what I love. And I mean, I studied, I trained in Meisner, and um, I did Chekhov too, but yeah, it's just incorporating all that, incorporating this back and forth, and also these physical gestures, as Chekhov says. It all kind of ties up, I'm going on tangents, but it all ties up together in all my training that I've had so far. Now, have you, since you've been 
located in New York as your primary base. Have you um, done any episodic work or short films? I know you're a director, so right. you've probably done short films maybe on the other end of the yes. camera. Yes. No, it's, well, it's fascinating. I, um, I started my own company uh, last year called Unreal Films. It's a production company. Mm -hmm. and. Um, it's it's really it's actually it's a crazy world and I have to take it back a little bit because to answer some of these questions because when I got to the city I was working I have been successful as an actor but you know you have four months or eight months between gigs mm -hmm. even a year sometimes um, thank God I haven't had a year yet I think eight months is my longest time like I haven't worked but in that eight months you're still like what am I gonna do yeah absolutely. Ooh, uh, because I, I have to stay creative, you know, it's like this creative spirit is inside me. It can't be a blessing and a curse, but um, it really forced me to kind of reevaluate how my approach, I guess, to the business is, and, um, and really telling stories and really being um, true, true to my artistic self. And so I was like, well, I love telling stories, and I do love film, and I have I had no film training. It's crazy. I, I didn't know anything about film. And I just said, well, I, I rented a camera one weekend and I wrote this short film. I directed it and I was starting it and I edited it. And uh, that was about three years ago. And since then, I love, I mean, it's like I've fallen in love with um, film. It's such an awesome way to tell a story. But the thing about film to me is it's such a director's medium. Mm -hmm. And particularly short films. To me, it's all about creating these pictures. And the best actor in the world can look terrible with bad editing. So to me, it's I get to be in charge of this artistic story that I'm wanting to tell. With theater, though, I love being an actor for that reason, because okay. it's the actor's medium, in its truest form. And again, they're great film actors, but I just love I love creating pictures with stories. And anyways, I, I started this company. Um, I'm doing I do like promo videos and music videos, dance videos, and I've been doing short films. I did a SAG short film recently um, with Briz Chapman from Thirty Rock okay. and Jen Cody, and it was just an awesome experience. Broadway Jen Cody. Broadway Jen Cody. Everybody knows Broadway Jen Cody. <laughs> <laughs> and we've actually. I don't mean it like that, Hunter. I don't mean it like that. I just mean. She's been around. I know them both, and they're just yeah. both wonderful people. And, and Jen and I actually did a show together last year. That's how I knew her. Yeah. It's like, come do the short film with me. Yeah. Um, but, and also, being an actor, I have done some short films as an actor mm -hmm. in that regard, too. But I, I really do love creating stories and telling stories, telling stories from here, and, and doing it because I want to do it, and not because I feel like I have to do it tell you know have to, there's like a pressure there right sometimes with actors and so it's nice to take a step back and be and say no what a, what story do I want to tell and really you know make a story that way write a script mm -hmm. and you can do it you know anyone can do it that's what's amazing about technology now is that you have the resources to be to tell your own story that and with the dawn of the I say like it just happened, but with the internet, I mean, you can make YouTube movies and yeah. get noticed that way and, you know, things like that. Right, right. And times have, yes, it's so true, times have definitely changed in, re in regards to producing your own stuff. Right, so your eight-month acting break may be eight months of filled with doing your own film production work. Right, right. And if that's true, I need a, you can hire me. And I, will. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> It's, it's, My uh, boss may not like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well. You hire her too. Absolutely. So, what advice would you give to somebody who's starting out in the business mm -hmm. or maybe willing, not willing, wanting to throw it in because they haven't really gotten to where they thought they should be right. at said point in their career? Yeah, no, it's, um, I always, I always like thinking like a student, going back to really just learning. But always, always learning. I mean, I'm learning every day, mm -hmm. and um, that's that's what's fun to me. That's what keeps it fun and interesting. Is really just opening your eyes and watching the people around you. It, you can watch people in the street even and learn from them. Especially, I mean, there's so many. I mean, in so New York, characters. it's like 
<laughs> it is like an endless movie. <laughs> right, right. And there's just a plethora of just zany things that happen out there. And it's like, wait, what is it? Instead of like judging them, okay, you can actually look at them and say, well, what's what's their point of view? You know, what, where, how do they get to where they are? Mm -hmm. And I find, I find that really fascinating. It, always being a student right. of life, really. Um, and I think that's where you can find a lot of answers in your life. You know, it's, it's, again, so many times you think you're going down one path and, you know, I thought that I was going to land this huge job before. I mean, I've been so close and then it doesn't happen. And at first you're a little upset by it, but you can turn that around and really reevaluate everything and say, well, what can I what can I do to still be sane, not go crazy, and still do what I love? And that kind of gives you your own outlet to, uh, to navigate in. And being in charge of that, being in charge of your creative integrity. Absolutely. It's hard. I mean, I think, I think it's hard for people to understand that sometimes. But that's where, those are the trailblazers, the people who really trust their own instincts and mm -hmm. really go for that, despite what anyone says. Absolutely. Because there's going to be an audience for just about anything. Yes. It may not be this person's cup of tea, but there could be an entire audience that does like whatever it is right. that you're going to produce. Right. So, or and direct and star in and yeah. all the other two. No, and, and people love seeing that because there's an authenticity that comes with that. Right. Um, which is, again, why I think that Cloned is so successful and why I've been successful in my film production company is that I really just do it because for me, at right. the end of the day, it, it, it's because I love doing it. And I'm not trying to please someone, which is, it's a hard, it's a hard thing to uh, grasp. Yeah, yeah. It's very challenging and I see it all the time in actors and it's like, okay, take a breath. Because at the end of the day, I mean, we're on this beautiful journey of life mm -hmm. that it's okay. You know, it's okay if you go down this path or this path. You can still, you still have a story to tell. You can always tell your story. And yeah, I feel like such a storyteller. I think that's why I love both film and theater. That's awesome. Yeah. And speaking. So Eric, why don't we talk a little bit about what you have coming up in the future? Great. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm doing, in August, uh, I am going on a three-week road trip. And we're filming, it's going to be a documentary. Um, I'll be filming it and, and, it's, and there's four of us. And the idea, it's called Just Go. Mm -hmm. The documentary is called Just Go. And the idea is to uh, really, as a 20-year-old, feel you know, feel like you can go on an adventure when you're in your 20s. You, you don't have to have 401k kick in. You don't have to have a lot of money. You can do a trip right now with a limited budget. So we're spending $100 a week on food. Um, I know, it's going to be it's gonna be crazy. <laughs> what you didn't see was my eyes bulge open because I ate $100 worth of food in a day. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be eating rice and beans. Yeah, ramen noodles. Uh, yeah, exactly. Um, but they're so... Yes, $100 a week on food, we're camping out. We're starting in Seattle, and we're working our way Idaho, Montana, Utah, Colorado, then going south in Arkansas, and then back up to the northeast. And we're camping out all three places across the country. Thank God it's not smell of vision <laughs> Right, <laughs> right, exactly. We will smell <laughs> um, a lot. Suddenly we're less interested in this project. Let's move <laughs> along to the one after that. <laughs> and, yeah, so I'm doing that in August, um, and we're looking at the launching that in 2015, um, cool. distributing it then, and then after that, uh, I'm, we're, I'm in the works for about two TV pilots right now, so it's really exciting. Very cool. Um, one I'm directing and one I'm director of photography, so I'm a master of no a jack of all trade, master right. of none. <laughs> and you can whisper, hey, I'm an actor too. And I'm an actor. <laughs> um, so it's all very, it's all really exciting stuff, and hopefully, hopefully, clone goes somewhere too. So that would be fingers, awesome. Yeah, fingers, fingers crossed. crossed. And your clone's fingers should be crossed as well. Absolutely. Double the chances. Double the pleasure. <laughs>